Program Director, uh, Honorable Executive Mayors and Councillors who are present, Ndabezita, Osi, Nis, Emakosi, uh, Umakonala, Letinduuna, Umati Kona, the Acting Land Claims Commissioner, Umake Esboka, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Sanbona. I want to quote Proverb 3, verse 5 to 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your hearts. Lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways. He shall direct your path. Unquote. I want to acknowledge today the presence of God Almighty, whom in many cases, in functions and in events like this, we often forget, forget to acknowledge. I say that let us acknowledge him in all the ways that we do. He will direct our path. Program director, ladies and gentlemen, I do so simply because what we are doing today is a monumental historical achievement that we have all achieved today. Because it is such a very special moment that those who have been dispossessed their land who are a majority of people in this country, are able today to find a restoration of their land and dignity. And we can witness this part ourselves, and we can have been part to that process to make it actualized. Whoever has been involved, I must say that you have gone down in history and making it possible uh, that that particular <coughs> process is realized. I just also want to mention something. Uh, there has been a lot of uh, uh, appreciation for the role that the CEO has played and together with the commissioner. I just want to share something for you, just for your own benefit. One of the things that we said to the CEO when we appointed him to become the CEO, Mr. Ndabeni, we said to him, there are two things that you need to do. There are many things that you have to do, but there are two things that you have to do. You have to turn around tourism in this province. We cannot continue to be a backward province or a, a, less, a less visited province. We have the best we have. We have the best in the province, and we want to see moving from a certain position. Uh, to a very good position as a preferred tourist destination. We just have to turn tourism around. We want to see more and more visitors coming to Pumalang. And Pumalang must be on the map. You just turn it around. Whatever you do, turn it around. That's the brief we gave it to him. And uh, I am pleased to say that uh, uh, we have made progress uh, to that uh, uh, in, in, that, in that respect, uh, that we have been able to move Pumalanga from position eight as a preferred tourist destination by domestic uh, visitors from position eight uh, to position six. <laughs> and we have also internationally, we have moved pro the province from position five to a position, to position three as an international preferred destination. So we are making progress uh, with regard to the brief that we gave it to the CEO and his uh, management team. 
The second part that we said to the CEO, for too long, this province has had a dream that, a, that one day it will be able to attract private sector investment, large scale private sector investment. You will recall that an attempt was made at some point. You will recall that uh, controversial dolphin deal. Because the potential has always been there. But we wanted to see that we can be able to attract private sector investment. But we have always understood that unless we resolve the land claim issues, it will be difficult to attract private sector investment. And we said to the CEO, we know that you've got a lot of challenges on MTPA in terms of what you have to manage, but prioritize the process that deals with addressing the land claim so that together with the community who will then become the new owners, we can co-manage our assets, or the assets that is now owned by, by the new owners, so that together we can then attract private sector investment and really unlock the potential uh, that is there uh, in, our own, uh, in our own parks and also uh, in, in, in the province at large. I am happy to say that this process that we are talking about fits in into that particular brief. And indeed, together with the commissioner, uh, MTPA team has been able to, to deal with that particular issue uh, successfully. We've also said that we needed to develop a shared vision, which is called the Mpumalanga Tourism Growth Strategy. In that vision, which is a 2016 vision, we say, that by 2016, we want to have attracted private sector investment to a tune or worth not less than 12 billion rand by 2016. A lot of people will say it's a dream. A lot of things that we see today came as, began from being a dream and they were actualized. So once the land claim has been addressed and the restoration of the land has been done, the title deed has been restored, and the co-management agreement has been signed, together with the new owners on the land, we will, be to, will, be, will pursue aggressively private sector investment. And we hope that we will be in the position by 2016, have exceeded over 12 billion rand investment, worth of investment that would have attracted. That's what we want to achieve. Program Director, I want to then say that uh, <coughs> we manage about 19 reserves in the province, of which all these 19, nat protect, uh, 19 re natural reserves or protected areas, about 18 of them have got valid claims on them. As MTPA, we support the restitution of land claims to claimants, previously disadvantaged and who were removed from their properties. The CEO has indicated to you that uh, we are now the market leaders in terms of uh, this process uh, at, 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 in this country. And we, uh, our process has now been adopted nationally, and which is very nice for us if you consider that MTPA is just, uh, is just less than four years old. By the way, people don't know that, that the Bumalanga Tourism and Parks Agency is four years old. We are not the Mpumalanga Park Sport, nor the Mpumalanga Tourism Authority. We are a different institution. And that's why the way we conduct ourselves, we conduct ourselves differently. We have spoken about the settlements that we're going to be signing today, which is Manjeleti, Ndala, Komodem, and Mabusa.
it is indeed an exciting journey for all of us uh, today. What is very important for us is that beyond, set, beyond the signing of this agreement, there's a lot of work to be done. We need to then plan together and then be able to see how we can then develop these reserves and maximize their potential.